Welcome back to the channel. I'm Richie. This is Ashley. And this is Baby Rian. On this video, we're going to be discussing how to potty train a newborn, but specifically elimination communication. The word elimination is about peeing and pooing and communication is about learning the specific cues. So like when you're training a puppy, so when we had say Sophia or we had Happy, they give you specific cues for when they need to go to the toilet, which you learn. And the same way as humans, as babies, we actually have specific cues to let our caregivers know I need to go to the bathroom. So what you're doing is effectively you're showing and giving the child the opportunity to go on the potty, their pees and their poos, so that they're learning that their toilet isn't just a nappy. Because the problem is if they're just continuously using the nappy, they stop giving you those cues and then it takes much longer down the line to actually then toilet train them. If you stay till the end of this video, it will give you some tips on how to actually begin doing this and what to look out for. One of the major benefits of elimination communication is you will get your child out of nappies within 14 months. But usually a child will stay in nappies, sometimes up to the age of three, before you then have to try and wean them onto the toilet. And you can hear horror stories about trying to get your child to use the toilet. And that's because they associate going to the toilet with a nappy. Mm. So they associate going to the toilet in a nappy. So then you're trying to break that association by getting them to go into the toilet. Whereas with elimination communication, you avoid that trap and you teach them from day one that the mm -hmm. potty is where you go to the toilet. Yeah. And we've actually noticed within two weeks, just over two weeks now with mm -hmm. Rian, that when we put a nappy on him at night time. He's not pooing in the nappy until it's actually taken off. And in the morning time then, he is naked and he's on the potty and when he's being breastfed that's when he likes to do his poos and you know we're then making like a big song and dance you know singing and making the sound so you do psst for when he does a wee wee and yeah. then you kind of make a little grunting sound when he does a poo so it's kind of like because uh, uh, he does actually make a little grunting sound so we got this it's called a top hat this is the this is potty. the this is the best potty that you can get it's very simple it's like the shape of a top hat. And it's got this removable um, Little, pad. Yeah, it makes it comfy for him to sit on. And it's just an ideal shape because when you're breastfeeding, you can actually have it in between your legs. Your, your thighs can grip onto it and you can comfortably position him onto it. Another advantage of doing elimination communication is you don't have to deal with nappies. So when he does do number two, he'll do it into his cloth nappy or onto a pad and straight away you'll wash that under the sink Mm. and there's literally no smell of it. No. So because he's not on solids, there's no smell of the poo. Once it's you lovely, it's lovely smell, <laughs> isn't it? It's great. And Ashley loves his poo. There's no smell. Like, so you can no just smell. wash it off and it washes off very easily. And that's an advantage because you're not having to put nappies in the bin mm. and then trying to dispose of nappies. Also the cost of nappies over the long run goes into the hundreds. Initially we spent 200 euros on cloth nappies for rain mm -hmm. so that means we use these nappies at night time or whenever we're going to be going outside and maybe when visitors call we stick on the cloth nappy so he doesn't yeah. pour a wee all over them <laughs> when, when he's been held but by he's but his association is now not, not to wee or poo in the nappy we have a natural instinct as a mammal to not soil ourselves and yeah. not, not to soil like where we are so this kind of is actually working with that natural instinct and as a parent responding to that and obviously, I think initially it probably takes more effort, doesn't it? Mm. It'd be easier to just put on a nappy and not, not have to think about it. One of the biggest challenges is at the start, it's a lot of work. Mm. So you have to continuously be looking for the cues and you have to be looking for the indications of when they're gonna pee and when they're gonna poo. It's really full on at the start because mm. you have to be there all the time waiting and watching for the cues. And if you miss them, you get peed you get and pooed, pooed on. Ashling, how many times you got peed and pooed on this morning? I can't even count. Yeah. Oh yeah, loads today anyway. <laughs> and and, and the, the poos are easier to catch mm -hmm. than the wheeze. Much easier. So the yeah. next challenge is? Uh, well, for sure, when you're getting visitors, because obviously when you have a newborn, you're going to have visitors. People want to see your newborn, your friends and your family. And most people have never heard of this elimination communication. And especially, he's making little sleepy sounds there. Um, especially, if, 
especially when you're doing the naked skin to skin and you know you're not having them kind of dressed up like in a baby grow uh, it definitely raises eyebrows and uh, brings questions so that's a challenge I suppose is when you are just new to it yourself and then you're kind of trying to explain it and you're trying to learn it and you're trying to learn it and you know and I think because yeah. you're trying to learn he's cues yeah and then when people are coming in it's almost like they're they're breaking that rhythm yeah that you're building up and creating in a, in a way it's actually disruptive to the it process is, it is disruptive but then you have to learn how to actually handle that as just well. just handle it and yeah like, and, and be flexible as yeah. well like and, you can't be so rigid that you're like yeah nobody can come near <laughs> and no yeah. nappy <laughs> no nappy no clothes no nothing yeah. you know so i've had to kind of soften my my mind around it in terms of like it's okay to put on a cloth nappy um if somebody's going to come and he wants to be held by whoever um that that's fine and you know as soon as they're gone the nappy's off <laughs> and we're straight back into it so it's kind of like yeah you just have to be flexible with it um but also you need to be you need to be very committed to it like you can't you can't let other people um interfere with your decision to do this because like everyone i've listened to they say you're better off starting from day one starting off with a newborn now people do start later on but again, if you're not wanting to train the child or the baby out of the cues, like you want them to be giving you those cues and you are the majority of the time picking them up. So the first tip is learning your baby's specific cues. So these are the ones that we've come up with so far and these will help you to look out for what are your baby's specific cues. He has what we call now wee eyes. So he does the thing with his eyes, like as if he's really like in uh, heaven, isn't it? You'll be talking to him. Yeah, his eyes and, are kind and of And he'll be saying, Rian, or you could be doing that, and he will just be fixed. He's like this. He's, he's got his eyes fixed on something. Yeah. But what he's doing, what he's really doing is concentrating on ween. <laughs> yeah, the wee is coming. Yeah. So we call them the wee eyes. Actually, the granddad actually was like, he's doing wee eyes. And I was like, what? Yeah. And then as I looked down and then whoosh, the wee was coming out, yeah. So that's it, wee eyes, so have a look out for those. The next one is hands flailing. So his hands, you know, he loves moving the hands anyway. He's really into the hands. But when he's about to do the wee or even a poo, he starts kind of like thrashing around a bit with the hands. Yeah, it's different. You, it's you'll different. notice it because yeah. uh, while, while he's doing it, it's a different kind of a hand movement and he's also tensing up. Yeah. And he's almost like... <clears throat> yeah, and, he's about to push or he's, he's yeah. you know, he's, he's, he's gonna something is coming out of his body basically. Um, and then we had earlier um, stomach gurgling. So listen out for that. Mm. Any gurgling, that's the real sign that some poo is about to come. Or he might be doing a little fart. <coughs> oh, good boy. <coughs> good boy. He had a poo poo in his body. That's also another sign. Um, but the stomach gurgling, like it's like it's moving down. You can hear the the ball movement coming, and you need to get ready to collect that ball movement. And then the other one that we notice, obviously, we're doing the naked time. Uh, not everyone needs to do fully naked all the time. You know, you can have a period of time where you just observe the child naked, and just kind of like get to know their body and see these cues. But we can see where he's pushing down, um, and he's about to do a poo. So actually, he has a change in his balls. They go much more firm and it looks like there's pressure happening yeah. in that area and then not long after they all, they also the poo shrink. is going to come. Yeah, they go like much tighter. Shink, they shrink and harden. Yeah, so it's kind of like yeah. a contraction is going on yeah. in, the, in the muscles and then not long after that, the poo is coming. Mm -hmm. So that there, there, there are signs. The second tip is all about timing. So specific times of the day, for example, when he wakes up in the morning, Get him on the potty straight away because that's a good time that he will definitely do a poo and he will do a wee. He could do a few wees, so mm. just keep that potty on him. And also another time is when he's breastfeeding. Rian loves to wee when he's breastfeeding. Also after a big feed, there's a big chance that he will do a big poo. Mm. So that's another time to get the potty under his bum. And lots of wees as well. And up. just leave it there. Yeah. So you just have him breastfeeding and leave the potty there and then eventually it'll come. So in the timing, you also need to look out for when your newborn is awake, or he or she is gonna be doing their elimination when they are awake. So during that window of time, this is when you need to offer them the potty. 
Um, it's not the time to get distracted. Um, oftentimes we've taken pictures of him and we're yeah. holding him and then he's spraying us yeah. because we're not realizing this is his awake time. This is yeah. when he actually will eliminate. Um, and then obviously we're putting the cloth nappy onto him when he's asleep and like most likely I'm taking it off and it's like dry, um, slightly damp. He's not, he's not eliminating when he's asleep. Um, so he's really keeping it in for when he's awake. So they're the, they're the times that you need to look out for. And again, it's not about having to get it all because if you have people maybe holding the baby at that time, you can obviously wear your, your nappy at that time as well. What's the third and final tip, Ashling? Patience with the process. You have to have patience because it's going to take time. You are learning. You are learning how to position your baby correctly on the potty. Um, you are getting to know your newborn. You are having sleepless nights and you are thrown in at the deep end. So you just have to have patience with the process. But again, like what Richie was saying, you have to have a very strong long term vision of why you're doing this because it's like in the in the immediate moment, you might be like, this is just too much hard work. I feel like it's going to be easier to just use a nappy it's like you have to understand like what is the journey that you're on with your baby and for me it's like it's going to get easier and obviously he's going to get sturdier he's going to be able to have neck control um, and also that you're learning your baby's language and that you just need to take time to learn that it's going to it's going to take time if you've enjoyed today's video please do give it a like and subscribe and hit that notification bell to be the first to be notified when the next video is out we're going to be doing more updates on elimination communication, so please do send in any of your questions that you might have. From myself, Ashling, and Baby Rian, thanks for watching. See you all in the next one. Bye. Bye. Rian, do you enjoy going on your potty? Yeah. 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 Yeah.